Thanks to all my friends out there for supporting our community. We have finally reached over 250 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. I need to start learning Cartoon Animator 5 again. I thought I'd explore it with you, and hopefully you'll get to learn a lot about this software. Anyway, let's get to work on this right away. I'm just going to close this window here. And we're going to bring in a background here. Now, I can either do it through the software or some purchase stuff, or I can do one with just a photo. I think I'll just take something from here. And let's find scenes. Let's see what's around here. There's all kinds of stuff. Some stuff I got free, some I purchased. You can see it's all mixed in here. But I'm going to do it an easier way. And I'm going to go into the packs up here and just look for the stuff that I purchased. Lots of stuff here. Here's a bedroom scene. And you can see there's a lot of amazing stuff here. Really cool. I'll bring in this one here. This will be our background. Now I'm going to explore the characters. Just click back here a couple times and go to actors. And let's just find out what we have here. Looking at something that's exclusive to Cartoon Animator 5. We have these, the Dynamic Character Designer. Doesn't really sound like the names of characters, but there's a lot in this package here. Let's just bring a few out here. Here's a front-facing character. She looks really good. She matches this almost exactly. Looks like a really good character for this type of background. Really cool. We'll just move her over here. And I think we'll bring out one of each character. We'll just shrink her down so that all the characters can fit here. And what else do we have here? This one also looks good. Let's just bring out this one as well. I think there's maybe eight characters here. We have two so far. We'll just keep going along here, see what we get. It's been a while since I've used this software. I bought it about a year ago, and I just never really explored it that much because they took away a lot of the V2 character functionality. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Anyway, so far, three characters. They look really good. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm a little iffy about this one. And this is probably the worst one. I think the design on this one isn't that great. And we'll just go all the way down. I had to attach a new mic to this computer because it was making like a crackling sound. If I used the one that was built in the laptop, kind of disappointed about that. But anyway, this uh, new mic should do the trick and we should be able to make more videos from now on. Also looks good. And we'll just go all the way to the bottom. Now here's a kid character. We'll take these into the character composer and have a look at their body parts and sprites. Now he's at the back. If I want to bring him to the front, just click on this little arrow here and he moves to the front nice and easy easy to do anything in here now he's a kid so he needs to be a little bit smaller so we'll just scale him down there we go i think we have two or three more characters here here's another one here these are all the characters that come with this pack i think it's a good deal overall due to the amount of characters you get and they have different outfits and clothes on them which makes them even better Okay, this is the one I'm going to take into the character composer. I'll just leave her at the front here. And we'll move on to our last character, which is Grandpa here. And let's just click on him. Take a couple seconds. And there we go. He's ready to go. Shrink him down. Now we're going to take her into the character composer and take a look at her sprites. I'm sort of curious what she has. Okay, there we go. You can see all the sprites for the body. Now we need to go into the sprites here for the face, arms, and feet. I should say hands and feet. Click on this one here. Lots of hand sprites. If you want to change sprites, it's very easy. You just click on them and it does it automatically. Pointing, all this stuff is really good. Looks well done. Let's have a look at the eyes. 
and you could probably add a few sprites yourself it's not too hard if you draw it inside illustrator and i'm looking at the mouth i want to see what type of sprite so really happy open mouth so the lip sync looks good excellent well done if you want to draw your own mouth sprite you can use this as an example to follow when you're doing your own and I'm just going to look at the hair a little bit so you can see there are just different parts of the hair. So there's actually quite a bit of drawing involved. That's one of the reasons why I purchase things rather than draw them myself. It just takes too long. And there's different angles here. You can see the left, center, and the right. It looks really good. I'm kind of curious about the feet now. Let's have a look. So we can straighten the feet. That's really good. They didn't have that in Cartoon Animator 4. At least I didn't see it. It looks like they've upgraded the character. Anyway, let's take her back to the main stage and try and give her some animation. So far, everything's working out really good. The software is not as laggy as before. I think it's probably because the updates have given the software, which makes it a lot better and easier for me to work with. We'll just close this here. And we're going to look for animations. This is the actor. Go back to the front again, I think. So they have all these different icons up here. This is probably folders or projects. This is actor and then accessory. And then this is animation. We'll click on animation tab. Sort of curious what this is. I haven't seen these for a long time. Probably puts them in different poses. We'll try it with him first. Actually, these are this is front and this is side. So here's the front facing. And it's not compatible, so that you have to really, really work around things. Different things work with different characters of different versions. It's really hard to memorize all that stuff. It could get actually quite complicated. Okay, we're going to continue on anyway, try and find something suitable for her. And we'll go into items. A lot of stuff to look at in here. I've bought so much and I've forgotten where it is, most of it. Here it is, here's our animations. And we'll go to 2D motions. And there should be basic motions here somewhere. We'd need to find humans. And there's elastic motions, I think, in here somewhere. Here we go. And we want... I guess this one's all right. Basic human motions. And these are front facing characters. So we need to use the front. And we're going to try the dance. It does. Okay, so she likes dancing. Let's make, make her dance. The chicken dance. We'll start with that. Now you notice the head moved a little strange. Okay, let's try another one, see what it looks like. And this one, I think, will look normal. Yeah, this one's normal. Okay, very good. I like it so far. It looks really good, but I'm going to need basic motions. I'm probably going to have to move a lot of stuff over from Cartoon Animator 4 and move it into the custom tab here. Just like I've done with my fruit gangsters. I'll just show you them for a second here. They are custom, and they're characters i think they're in humans here we are they're the fruit gangsters here and you can see i have all these ones here now you probably won't get these in the software anywhere i built these off of mr onion i'm not sure if anybody knows who he is we'll just bring one of them out real quick here click stop here and bring out oh, i like pump go i always liked him kids like him let's just bring him out real fast here and I'm going to bring him to the front. So we'll just keep going. And here he is. Just move him here. And that looks fine. Now you notice when you're working with him, he's a G2 character. If you want to do custom animation with them, let's just find the path here. The folder. A tab or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we need the 3D motion key editor. This is the only way you can open this up in the software. And you can see he's a 360 character. As he's moving around here, he looks really cool. He looks happy. 
that's good. So I'm glad he's still working in here, even though I haven't used the software for a very long time. Anyway, I let you explore these dynamic characters with me. I'm going to delete him in a second. First, I need to stop it. And there we go. Anyway, thanks for all the support you've given our community. Hopefully, everyone stays happy and healthy and safe out there. I'll try and upload a few more videos every week with Cartoon Animator 5. This gives you a little bit of an idea of this package that I had to pay for. This was about 50 US dollars. It was a good deal, lots of characters, and there's lots I can do with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all soon. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again later.